Okay, so this is going to be a quick video if you actually need to get a UDID from your Apple Watch. Uh, basically, UDID is a unique identifier uh, which, you actually, uh, which you would need to give your developer if you're a tester and your developer has uh, built an app and he wants to, you to develop it, or you mean test it, on your watch itself. So he would need this UDID unique identifier from your watch itself. The trouble is, um, with iPhone, iPads, uh, and any Apple devices, you can actually connect to USB um, and open up iTunes. And under iTunes info, will give you the UDID. With Apple Watch, it's a bit tricky um, because you cannot connect an Apple Watch to a laptop or a desktop. So there is no way you can actually fetch the UDID information from there. So there is another way you can actually do this. Uh, for this, you would need a couple of things. First of all, you would need to install Xcode. Um, you would obviously need a Mac computer and you would need your i your watch uh, synced up with your iPhone uh, whatever variant it is and when you're actually connecting um, or trying to find the UDID your Mac and your iPhone should be connected so the way this is going to work is um, the X code is going to give you uh, the iPhone's UDID information and below it you're actually going to see the Apple Watch's information um, and obviously you will see the UDID as well um, so what I'm going to do is first of all I'm going to actually going to go ahead and install um, I have installed the Xcode so I'm just going to go ahead and launch it and make sure you have the most updated version of Xcode um, just you know because Apple Watch sometimes does require that you actually have the most up-to-date Xcode version if you don't actually have the updated version it might not even give you the information of the phone that you connected so it's always a good um, thing just to make sure you have the latest version of it in my case um, I have the 7.3 which is the newest one from the App Store um, and if you get that you will definitely get the watch information so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to scroll up to uh, the menu bar go to Windows and you're going to go to devices Right now it says 2 in there, which basically means that I have an iPhone connected and why am I iPhone is my Apple Watch connected. So if I click on it, it's going to present me a small little window, right? So first of all, you can get this information from um, uh, your actual uh, iTunes. But if you need this information, the identifier, this is for your Apple Watch. You can only find at this location. Um, and again, it's very tricky. As I said, um, if you don't have uh, Xcode installed, it's very hard to actually get it some other way at this point. Um, so again, we went down to devices under window. And then once it opens up, you will see right here is the name of your iPhone. And with that iPhone, I actually have paired an Apple Watch. With that Apple Watch, this is the identifier or the UDID that you're going to provide uh, to your developer. And once he gets it, you know, he can release that app specifically just for your device. So, so if you wanted to do any testing, you can actually go ahead and do that. Uh, feel free to comment and ask me any questions. I'll be more than happy to answer them. Have a blessed day. Thank you.